Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and it's cast time once again. Um, and let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and intro this music real quick. This is gonna be E Ring. Uh, we are the past, and as you can probably tell by the picture here, this is actually a Vikings themed. Uh, or let me let me try to say this better. Technically, E Ring is classified as dungeon synth. He's a dungeon synth artist, but again, as you can tell by the picture. He's he's got a pretty strong Viking theme this time around. So, um, I I first heard it and hey, that sounds pretty cool. So, and I did a copyright check on it. And before I forget, let me uh, yeah, let me go ahead and show you this now. Um, okay, never mind. I got rid of it. I got rid of it. So let me go back here. So it might be a while for this to come on. So I'll just go ahead and get the music going. Okay, there it is. I do, I do need to pause this, um, but, okay, almost done, almost done, but I guess, um, first things first, I, I no longer use Y2 Mate for downloading YouTube videos, um, I found this, it's called 4K Downloader, and, um, I find that it's a lot more reliable, things download a lot faster, and, um, and I got it for the low, low price of $15. It's a, But it's like a one-time fee. That's it. No subscriptions or no annual or monthly subscription or anything. Um, but, yeah, because the problem I had with Y2Mate is um, it, it didn't work for every single YouTube video that I wanted to download. And um, there is a, there is a, a YouTube downloader on the browser itself. But it's total ass. Like a simple, a simple 50 megabyte video could take about 15 minutes to download. So yeah, so yeah, so 4K downloader. Again, I had to pay 15 bucks, but considering all the use I'm going to get out of this thing, it's money well spent. And um, but for those that don't know, um, what I how I do my copyright checks is uh, I'll download I'll download a video and then re-upload it to YouTube and then YouTube will give me a yay or nay on whether or not it's copyrighted. So, so, but anyway, also I also need to say here too is um I'm gonna I'm gonna do this cast video in a totally different style that I'm not used to. So it's my first time doing it this way. It's a new method. Um, if I can remember to, and if I have if I have some time, I'll explain later. But yes, but don't be surprised if uh, don't be surprised if I make some mistakes here and there. Because again, this is virgin territory for me. So. Alright, so let's go ahead now. Let's go ahead and get that music going. Um, and music might be a bit on the loud side, but, uh, I, I listened to a small part of this album, and, uh, there's gonna be a fair amount of quiet parts on here as well, so I had to kind of balance it out. So, um, but to start with, um, my daily pinball session, yeah, it... It never should have happened. Should have just stayed in bed. Um, uh, cause, I mean, rough work week. I lay down, lay down. I got maybe like four or five hours of sleep. Uh, alarm went off. Tried getting up, but it just. Uh, oh! I mean, my body was fighting it all the way. So 
if not for the if not for the fact that I'm off tonight, or I was off tonight, I probably would have just went ahead and slept in, and just not streamed at all. But like I said, I'm off, so you know I don't want to I don't want to squander the opportunity, so I was pretty much in gung ho mode. Um, and then not not to mention that um also around the shortly after I rolled out of bed, my um. My rhomboid muscles started fucking up. It just got out to the living room. Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. You know, I had to go. I had to go take some ibuprofen. Um, luckily, luckily it helped. But I mean, it it was it was still there. It was still there. So I had all this. I had all this going into the stream. So not surprisingly, it didn't it didn't go that great. I mean, FX3 went decent. I mean, I've, I've definitely done better, but I've definitely done worse. So just, I guess mediocre is the word I'm looking for. Um, arcade, as you probably, as you could probably guess, I, I totally sucked. I sucked so bad that about a half hour in, I just went over to Zachariah, just did Zachariah pinball. It, I don't go there until. I don't do Zachariah unless as a last resort because uh, most of my viewers, I don't think they like Zachariah very much either. I know um, Guitaro87, um, one of my uh, longest standing followers, I know he don't, but I'm, I'm going to take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. So, but uh, yeah, normally, uh, normally, uh, Kataro please the or please the coop whenever I play Zachariah. This time he stuck around. So I think it probably kind of shows, uh, kind of shows you how bad the session was, you know. If that makes any sense at all. But overall, um, one thing I did notice throughout the session is, uh. It was a new term I coined because it. I didn't have the word support during the stream, but afterwards, I called it the zero sum curse. It's like every time I make a good shot, or every time I made a good shot, I'd fuck up afterwards. You know, make some stupid mistake. It just, it just a lot of back and forth like that. But it, it also kind of shows, shows what a very unfocused performance it was. You know, I mean, like you know, like I said, I didn't. Didn't get enough sleep. Didn't get enough sleep. My upper back was still hurting despite the ibuprofen. You know, so this really was a session where I shouldn't have been so gung ho and just again slept in. You know, but like I said, it just it was one of those that it was the whole session was moot. You know, do great one moment and then do terrible the next really weird phenomenon I've, I've had to and I think I've had this kind of thing happen over the years it just you're inconsistent I think that's the word I'm looking for you know definitely you know you're, you're definitely not a not doing a or you're not putting in a solid performance it's like real shaky I mean I'd almost rather do an all-around bad performance overall than to sit here and just have the kind of janky play style that I had today. So... But, but, yeah, that's that. But hopefully tomorrow's session should be better because, you know, it's my night off. I should be getting better sleep. Um... But, um, but yeah, speaking of that, though, as, as you'd probably expect, for the most part, just sitting around watching stuff, I think I had taken, a, I had taken two naps, taken a couple of naps, and I, it feels like I'm probably going to have to take a third one here, but we'll see. Um... And originally, I was gonna, 
I was going to go over a couple Jessica Wildfire articles, but I think I'm going to put those aside. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put those aside until uh, probably tomorrow or something. Um... Otherwise, um, but this is kind of a, kind of a newsflash, or this is, this is something that happened, uh, happened kind of suddenly, and I felt a need to get it out, because it really pissed me off. I kind of felt betrayed, but anyway, um, I'm sure a lot of people know the legend. You know, Metallica, one of the best metal bands out there. Um, Kill Em All, Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and Justice for All awesome metal classics, then they decide to go ahead and... People could probably uh, argue to the end of the, ends of the earth on this, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and say it now, but starting with their Black Album, when they fucking sold out, basically they pussified their music, you know, trying to make themselves pop-friendly. Um, but yeah. Then And then Taylor Swift... I don't really follow her music, it never have. I'm not big on country, but you know, basically, you know, her early stuff just, it's a sample of country gal, but then decides to go ahead and become a fucking sellout and does that damn Shake It Off song that I I pretty much have to hear every single day at work. God knows what else I have to hear. Or, or God knows what other of her, uh, her pop stuff that I have to listen to at work. So, yeah, it, but unlike, um, again, unlike, uh, unlike Metallica, I don't, I don't really have much connection with Taylor Swift at all. Like I said, I don't, I don't do country, and I don't really do pop music, but again, I, the only, I only really have a dog in the fight because I have to listen to her shit every night, so, yeah, but otherwise, don't really care. And then, um, and then this is kind of, it's kind of a classic issue, but, uh, Jay Leno, like, um, endorsing Doritos. But uh, once again, I don't really follow talk shows. Never really have, but that wasn't, uh, that wasn't, uh, but, uh, hang on. Fumbling my words right now. But, uh, it wasn't until, uh, I watched the Bill Hicks thingy on, on him, uh, chewing out Jay Leno for doing this. I mean, don't normally care, but the way he put it, yeah, I, yeah, I totally agreed with him. I mean, why? I mean, Leto's already rich. He's already popular. Why the fuck do you need to hawk Doritos for? So, I mean, he was, he was a lot more elaborate about it than I was, and I haven't, I haven't really listened to it in years. But like, like I said, I totally agree with what he's saying, though. You know, having, you know, having gone through the whole Metallica thing. You just, you kind of feel betrayed. So, but, um, and then fast forwarding to today, um, he's a YouTuber, Larry Lawton. Um, he was a, I think he was a mobster, um, an ex-con. He was in jail for like 10 years or something. He was a jewel thief. Um, but, uh, he was pretty much, and, uh, I think, um, one of his, uh, one of his videos, he talked about him being abused, even molested as well as a child. So we talk about that, but he was, he was a guy I looked, you know, he was a guy that I looked up to. You know, he was one of my favorite channels to watch. Now, granted, like a lot of other, uh, you know, like a lot of other channels, no, I don't, I don't follow every single video, and to this day, with the exception of maybe Emperor Lemon, I don't think I've ever watched all of his videos all the way through like i'll watch like part of it and then go off to something else but like i said he's he's definitely a favorite of mine so but but today um he was gonna do a video on on, on how witness protection works and he decided to go ahead and hawk raid shadow legends so yeah needless to say i was a little pissed you know i mean one of the reasons why i liked him and Probably one of the reasons why I liked a lot of my other favorite YouTubers is uh, they never stooped that low. I know, uh, 
I know Emperor Lemon, I know he's... I know he's done his own fair share of endorsements, but I don't think he's ever done Raid Shadow Legends. So, I mean, so yeah, it... But like, like I said, it just... I had other shit that I wanted to do on this cast video, but once I saw this video, it just... I had to... You know, I had to mention that. And this might be one of the... It might be one of those rare instances Probably might have, might be the first time. I'm still thinking about it, but I'll probably uh I'll wait for the uh, embers to cool down some before before I make a decision. But this might be the only time I might actually unsubscribe to somebody. So I'm, but I'm probably I'm I'm probably leaning towards no. I mean, because I mean Metallica sold out. I still like their classic stuff, and I guess now that I think about it, if, sorry if this doesn't make any sense at all, but Star Wars, I didn't, I didn't care for the uh, prequels, you know, parts one, you know, episodes one, two, and three, all I care for are the classic ones, but I didn't care for Phantom Menace and whatever the other two were, I've never seen, uh, Pinball FX3 has ta has Star Wars tables. I forget their names. But uh, it had a... Uh, they're like... There's... There's sequels. Um, Ray. Uh, played by Daisy Ridley. I can't remember the names. Oh, come on, Joe. I'm really racking my brain here. But you kind of get the idea. But the the sequels, um, again, Ray, Daisy Ridley, uh, Mark Hamill was in there too. Um, but yeah, I didn't. Oh, I think Rise of Skywalker was one of the episodes. But yeah, don't. I mean, don't care for them. But I still like the classic ones. But yeah, I'll. But yeah, chances are. I'm the, the more I think about it, the more, the more that I probably won't. Uh, I won't unsubscribe, but it just. Oh my God! What a wound that was. You know, and it, it's some, it, and I think, and I just remember too. Bill Hicks said the same thing about uh, Jay Leno. You know, if you're a young, struggling, you know, young, struggling actor. You know, struggling to make ends meet, and if you wanted to, if you wanted to hawk Doritos, I mean, yeah, we'll look the other way. I mean, I, I totally understand that, but I mean, you know, I mean, if you're if you're a struggling YouTuber and if you wanted to endorse Raid Shadow Legends, yeah, I'd have no problem with it. But you know, I mean, Larry Lawton's a legend. You know, um, you know he's, you know he's a. For lack of a better word, powerful. He's, you know, he's a pretty powerful YouTuber. I mean, he's, he didn't need to. So what the fuck's he doing it for? I, I think he had his own. Yeah, he had his own. He has his own book. Um, his own book. It's like an autobiography, Gangster Redemption. I mean, I think he was making. He was. i presumably he's making pretty good money doing that. Um, he. I think he was. He was selling merch as well. You know, T-shirts and whatnot, and it was. It's his own stuff too, you know. I don't, I don't know if he makes it all himself, but you know. But he he has he had his own, his very own merch that he sold. So I can't, I can't understand for the life of me why he'd wanna, why, he'd, you know, why he'd stoop so low as to, as to you know endorse Raid Shadow Legends. Plus, as far as I know, he's not a gamer. This is the other thing that really bugged me. I know um. I know he had at least a video of him playing Grand Theft Auto 5. I don't, I can't see him being like an expert or anything, and I don't, I can't see him having like 100% completion. I'm thinking he might have done it just because uh, all of his fans asked him to, asked him to try Grand Theft Auto 5. I know he's done, um, he's done commentary on some of the, on some of the heist mini games that you can do, like robbing jewelry stores. They've had uh, they've had Larry do commentary in some of those, but you know that's the other, going back to what I said a few moments ago. He's as far as I know, he's not a gamer. I mean, he's he's like 60 years old. 
usually um people my age and up were not you know were not gamers. I mean it was like it was like my own father. He hated video games. He thought they were a waste of time. And I think a lot of people around his age, you know, around his generation were like that. You know, he'd come home from work and I'd be I'd be playing Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2 on my Super Nintendo. You know, he'd be coming in, son, son, I've got He's got to spend the rest of his goddamn life playing video games. You know, that was his attitude towards it. So I'm guessing uh, Larry Lott would probably have that same attitude as well. I mean, at least in the context of age, you know, generations ago. I'm going to take another drink here. Hold on. Okay. So, but I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. Um, I need to do... Here, I'll go ahead and copy this. And let's hope that... Okay, good. One off without a hitch. Okay, so... Let me back up a bit. Alright, so yeah, this is... This is going to be the behind-the-scenes portion of this video. Um, it's just... It's just, um... It's where I talk about how I do... How I do what I do. And then... Uh, one... One different style that I adopt... That I did today... Is... Yeah, I can't really do it here. I'll have to go. I decided to do, uh... It, it, do all of my, uh... All the visuals that I use with maybe or at least 90% of it just using a slideshow instead kind of like what I did with yeah, I just I just found it easier to do it like this because it saves a lot of it saves a lot of space in the uh, sources column otherwise I'd be having image after image after image I'd have this whole I'd have this whole huge larger list of images that I've used. And so what I thought I'd go ahead and do instead, it kind of seemed to work. Although now looking back on it, it kind of felt, it really did kind of feel more like a glorified PowerPoint presentation. But like I said, it just, and for those that don't know how, how uh, the slideshow works, you know, you got all your options here and then then uh, what you can do here is you can do a uh, you can just uh, like I did here I created a brand new folder titled it Larry Lawton and just uh, started tossing in a whole bunch of images that I thought would whoop I was supposed to do that so and then um then you would go over here. See, this is the part that I was really worried about. I'm going to go here and change change the hotkeys. Because I had two slideshows that I had on this cast. I'm going to go way down here for them. Um, change the hotkeys. Next slide, right. Previous slide, left. And then also, I think it's towards the top here. I have the same thing too. Same exact hotkeys, right and left. So I was kind of worried that, like um, this one here, bad stream. I think uh, it had a, I want to say forced, four images. Whereas uh, Larry Lawton, he had a, like a whole, he had probably twice as many images. What I was afraid of is by the time I got through the last image on the previous slideshow. If I would have switched over to the to the Larry Lawton slideshow, it would have got it would have it would have been on slide number four or five or whatever, really screwing things up. But uh, luckily that didn't happen. It still started at slide one. And another thing, I'm hoping you guys can see this. I keep forgetting about this, but it's a totally wonderful uh, wonderful part here uh, called Studio Mode. But again, I'm hoping you guys... I I think I tried talking about this in one of my other videos. Um, I actually looked it up. 
But what it is, is that, um, let me, let me take you out of this real quick. Okay, so what it is, is, um, it allows you to, it, it allows you to preview, to preview what you're going to put out before you actually put it out. So, if I'm unsure about something, I could, um, turn on studio mode and then, and then the, the before picture and again I'm hoping you guys can see this there's uh, two big windows here the one on the left is uh, again the before window the one on the right is after so so let's say in fact I did this during the cast video I wanted to make sure that it stayed here on the very very first window and when I see that it worked right You, you could click transition and it'll pop on over but you don't need to like I said all I want this all, all I want this for is to check and make sure that it's aligned properly so and then you uh oh okay never mind never mind that's right that's right Uh, but otherwise that's gonna do it um I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say today so I'll just go ahead and call it I'll just go ahead and call it good uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me though everybody I appreciate that and uh, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow oh, 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 oh. and um if I remember to it, it just depends on circumstances tomorrow um I might go ahead and um do commentary on this or I might just go ahead and do a separate commentary video on this article maybe on another one that she did but like I said we'll see come tomorrow so but until then thanks again for coming by everybody and I'll see you all next time bye now